Mineral balancing is the most powerful way to fix nutrient deficiencies and increase your energy, health, and vitality. It has completely transformed the way I view vitamins and minerals and has changed my life, along with the lives of thousands of people around the world. Unfortunately, most people have never heard of mineral balancing. So in this video, I will explain what mineral balancing is, how it works, and how you can get started. Okay, to get started, what even is mineral balancing? In its essence, mineral balancing is an approach to fix nutrient deficiencies and nutrient imbalances. It's similar to other approaches you might find online, such as the root cause protocol or the Walsh protocol. All these approaches try to fix health problems and symptoms not by using any medication, but by using your diet and supplements. So focusing on your micronutrients, so minerals and vitamins. Now the big difference between mineral balancing and other approaches is that it uses hair analysis instead of a blood test. Now this is crucial because most practitioners still focus on blood tests. The problem is that blood tests are notoriously bad at picking up nutrient deficiencies. Why? Well, because vitamins and minerals are stored in the tissue, not in the blood. For example, only 1% of magnesium is stored in your blood, with 99% being stored in your bones, teeth, and soft tissue. So when you're trying to evaluate your nutrient levels and to spot any nutrient deficiencies, if you're testing your blood, you're really testing the wrong substance. A hair analysis is way more representative of what's going on in the tissue. In my opinion, it is the best tool to help someone design a well-rounded nutrition and supplement program. It should never be taken out of the equation. You can do it without blood tests, but never without a hair analysis. A good hair analysis can also find the causes of things such as adrenal fatigue, hypothyroidism, and blood sugar issues. Because most of the time, the underlying condition is caused by a nutrient deficiency or a nutrient imbalance. For example, something that plagued me for years was copper toxicity, where you have too much copper in the tissue that causes inflammation and not enough copper in the blood. This can cause all kinds of symptoms and problems down the line. And only when I fixed my copper imbalance was I able to also fix my symptoms. Now, what is also important to understand is that mineral balancing really rests on the work of two laboratories. They're both hair analysis laboratories. One is called Analytics Research Labs and one is called Trace Element Labs. Both have been active since the 80s and they have hundreds of thousands of hair analysis that they can compare your results to. Because of their huge database of results, they are way ahead when it comes to vitamin and mineral interactions that are so important to keep track of. Many of these interactions are only now being confirmed by scientific studies. For example, way back in the 80s, they found that vitamin D leads to cellular potassium depletion. So the more vitamin D supplements you take, the more potassium you will lose over time. So taking too much vitamin D, especially vitamin D supplements, can lead to a secondary potassium deficiency. This is something many people are not aware of, and it's very dangerous. Osteoporosis is another example of a nutrient relationship that is often misunderstood by many people and even many practitioners. Osteoporosis is a loss of bone density, and it is especially common in menopausal women because estrogen and calcium metabolisms are interrelated. Now, the normal protocol to fight osteoporosis is to give someone a calcium supplement and maybe some vitamin D3 and K2. The problem with this is that calcium, to be bioavailable, always needs to be kept in solution. Otherwise, it will deposit in the soft tissue. Now, most people think that vitamin K2 is enough to counteract this, so enough to make sure that calcium isn't deposited in the soft tissue. It's not. You also need other nutrients to keep calcium in solution and to keep it bioavailable. Something that the labs found out is that you always also want to supplement magnesium because calcium and magnesium are really synergists, they work together. And you also always need to work on your adrenal function because your adrenal glands 
make sure that you have enough sodium and potassium in your body. And sodium and potassium work as solving agents of other minerals. So without them, not just calcium, but other minerals will harden over time and go to places in your body where you really don't want them. Like I said before, this is something many practitioners simply don't know. So they recommend overly simplistic or simply wrong protocols. All these interrelations of vitamins and minerals completely blew my mind when I first learned about them. It's really a completely different approach to fixing your micronutrient deficiencies. Now, before I wrap up this video, I also want to talk about some drawbacks of the mineral balancing approach. One is that it's not perfect. Because even though hair analysis is better than a blood test, it only shows what your body is excreting. So interpreting the hair analysis results can be somewhat difficult. You cannot just supplement the values that are low and avoid those nutrients that are high. This is called replacement therapy and it doesn't work. You really need to understand how all these nutrients work together to optimize your levels correctly. This also means you don't want to work alone at this. When I first started, I worked with an experienced practitioner who guided me along the way, especially when I had problems. Another important drawback is that you need patience. Refilling your nutrient deficiencies and getting some of those nutrients out that you don't want in your body, such as toxic copper, takes time. This is something that is done over months and sometimes years, not over days and weeks. And lastly, you will have ups and downs. You will not instantly feel better, unfortunately, but in the beginning, it's quite common to feel tired. The reason for this is that once you give your body the nutrient it needs to increase its energy, it now has sufficient energy to finally eliminate many of the toxic metals that you don't want in your system. Eliminating toxic copper, mercury, cadmium, all these can be somewhat painful. Common symptoms are headaches or even insomnia. So this is something you really have to be prepared for. But it is really worth it. It can change your life. And many of the symptoms you thought that were normal or that you had to have for the rest of your life disappear the longer you stay on a mineral balancing program. Okay, so to end this video, here's my conclusion on mineral balancing. For me, it is the best nutritional protocol I've ever seen. Before I tried it, I had tried a lot of other things that never really worked, including chelation therapy, superdosing vitamin C, the Walsh protocol, and the root cause protocol. I will record video reviews for the Walsh protocol and the root cause protocol in the future. They do work for some people, so I don't want to completely discard them, but they didn't work for me. Instead, I found that personally for me, the best way to fix my chronic fatigue, my weak immune system and improving my energy levels was to go with mineral balancing. And that's why I'm recommending it to you. If you want to get started, the best way is to approach a practitioner who has experience with this. I have a list of the best practitioners in the world, in my opinion, that also work with international clients. So you don't have to live in the same country as them. They will explain everything to you, how you send in your hair analysis, and how to interpret your results, and then they will help you set up your nutrition and supplement regimen.